Alrighty, what's up guys? Um, no stream in sight. We're actually out here at the house on the little farm pond here. Got some bass and sunfish in here and it's about 40 degrees so I wanted to get outside, grab the little jigging rod and uh, see if we can get something. I put on a little prince nymph and then an olive hair's ear. Not sure how good you guys can see that. Maybe I'll put a little closer up uh, picture of those but just got a couple flies on. I'm gonna jig them and see if some bass or sunfish like them as much as the trout do. But uh, yeah, it's a nice day out. Just happy to be fishing pretty much. Alrighty, so I don't have an auger, but everyone has an axe, so I actually just kind of hacked a hole nice. It worked pretty good though. Just kind of went in a circle and then popped out the big chunk and pretty much like that got a hole. Ice is about eight inches deep. Maybe not. Maybe like six or seven inches actually but uh yeah it's just good to be out here fishing and uh see if we can jig up some bass or sunfish or something alrighty so here is a closer view of the flies got that one a little prince and then kind of an olive hairs here so now the sun is behind the camera so I don't want my shadow going into the hole because it's only about eight foot deep. So just gonna put some flies down and see if we can get one here. Hey, what's happening? My neighbor Robbie, who owns the woods down there, we hunt a lot of deer. And, uh, recently, in the past year or so, there's been a lot of like four wheeler activity. Um, snowmobiles are fine because they don't really screw up the ground, but um, the four wheelers have been bad the last couple of years. And we put up a gate and uh, did a bunch of you know, posted signs and told people don't come and this and that. And we've had problems for a while, and uh. Robbie just gave me a call. Apparently he was walking the land today looking for sheds, looking for antlers. And he hears a quads coming and uh, hid in a ditch and they came right up the path and he jumped out. It was like two kids and he's like, you know, gave him the whole spiel or whatever about why do you think a gate's up? He's like, you think we're keeping bison in here? Like, you know, so. But that's good. I guess the four-wheeler problem is now solved. So, got 70 acres of land here, and uh, I'll definitely be posting some hunting videos for you guys, some self-filmed hunting videos in the fall, 100%. Um, bow and gun. Uh, got some nice deer on the property. I shot a nice 10-pointer last year, and uh, a bunch of nice bucks made it through the season. So, look forward to that in the fall. But otherwise, today just. Trying to jig up some fish, but I haven't caught anything yet. Alrighty guys, this spot here is pretty good. Still kind of in the middle of the pond. Um, but I think a brush pile kind of ends right out here somewhere. So I think we'll just put one right here. It's pretty
pretty good spot, I guess. Just kind of middle of the middle of the pond-ish, kind of near some brush. So let's put a hole in here and see if we can get one. <laughs> And then even though there's, there's probably two more inches of ice in that ring, so I try to just get like right down to the point it's going to crack through, and then really quick, just go around the circle, and chop the hole out real quick before it gets filled with water, otherwise you kind of get soaked. seep through so now we'll just go for it pretty much go around that ring and just try to break it through real quick before it gets all flooded out okay, we're through got a little bit wet but that's okay just got this big, big chunk here. Alrighty guys, we got our hole here. Ice is much deeper over there. That was kind of a workout. Let's get in there. It's a good spot. Let's see if we can get a couple of fish out. Alrighty, another thing, guys. Um, I'm not really an ice fishing expert, I guess, so, you know, I just chopped that hole, right, and it wasn't even with an auger, it was like vicious chopping with an axe, so, do you guys think I should, like, leave that hole alone for five to ten minutes before I fish it? Because technically, like, that hole probably lets in a lot of sunlight and stuff, so, just by jumping right in that hole, I'm not sure if all the, all the fish near that would be spooked, um, so if you could leave a comment, you know, maybe how long I should leave the hole alone before I actually fish it, that'd be helpful. Um, let's try this other hole here. I punched one in earlier. Um, it's a pretty good spot, so we'll try that spot out. I caught one 
one over there earlier, there's got to be at least probably a couple more, right? So let's head over to that first hole and see if we can get at least a sunfish. Caught one earlier like this, so it can't be too hard. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna change uh, change the bait up. Right now I got two flies on, fly fishing flies. But maybe I'll just go uh, grab my freshwater box and grab like a big soft plastic or something. Just jig like a big plastic or a spoon or something down there. Um, Cause there's nice bass in this pond. I know you guys can see this pond is like, it's not very big, um, but I like, I manage it pretty well so I keep the sunfish and the bass population really balanced. Um, some years there's like tons of bass everywhere and I'll eat a couple. Um, other years it's like sunfish everywhere and I feel like the sunfish eat all the bass eggs so there's some there's a couple three four pound bass in here for sure. Um, but yeah let's go get a little bit bigger lure and uh, see if we can get some of those bass. I'm gonna be going with this guy. Just like a little marabou Hopefully we can get a bass on that. came up empty um, definitely some fish biting though today um, I think they were going for that bigger lure and they were just like little tiny sunfish that couldn't actually eat the hook so I was just feeling them like bite the tail and I was pulling it out of their mouth or whatever um, but all in all it's still fun I guess trying to jig up a couple of fish like I said I caught that sunfish earlier so that was cool I wish I took a picture of it well it's on my snapchat um, I'll put my snapchat in the description too you guys can add it but uh, yeah I think I'm gonna do a fly tying video um, I'm not sure if I have a good enough camera for it the action cameras aren't really good for that because I want to be able to like focus on the hook shank so you can see the thread wraps and the, the wire and stuff like that in detail which is critical um, but I want to show you guys how to tie those little hybrid nymphs that I've been telling you about in all my fly fishing videos and then uh, when we get to 100 subscribers, um, when we put that video out, whoever's in the comments, I'm just going to throw their names in the hat and pick someone and send like half a dozen or send like three or four, a couple different flies to, to somebody. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe. Um, just shows me you guys are, you know, a bigger audience. I don't really care about money or anything like that. It's just cool to put out videos and have you guys watch them. So we will see you guys in the next video. And uh, might even actually come out here tonight at night and see if we can jig up some fish. I got to read about night fishing at night. Night fishing at night. Good one. Ice fishing at night. I got to read about that. And um, maybe we'll even tie up some flies specifically for the pond to see if we can get a couple of those pan fish. But uh, that's about it for the day. I'm headed in. Going to watch some college hoops. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.